Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me in studying of Torah. I would like to share with you a weekly Torah message that we can learn from this week's Torah portion. This week we begin reading the book of Vaikra, the third book. In English we call it the book of Leviticus and the first portion's name is Vaikra. The entire book contains ten portions and they all speak about sacrifices offerings to God, which are one of the main parts of service of God done in the tabernacle or the holy temple. The following is a message that the Lubavitcher Rebbe shares. The Rebbe says that among the sacrifices, there is, um, even though they were brought only while the temple stood or the tabernacle in the desert, yet they must be applying to us as well at every generation and in every location we live. As God commanded us to build a temple, the words are Ve'asuli mikdash ve'shachanti betocham. Let them build me a temple and I'll rest among them, not I will rest in it. Teaching that the service of God is not limited or confined into a structural structure made of physical material, but rather each one of us has the ability to serve God at any time and no matter where they live. The following is one of the sacrifices that was brought at the temple every single day, more than once, and I think this same um, sacrifice can be applying to each one of us at any given place. And that sacrifice I'm referring to is the Korban Tamid. The sacrifice called Tamid, Tamid translates is to constant or always. This sacrifice had to be brought in the morning and in the afternoon on behalf of the entire Jewish people. It had to be the first one opening up the service of God at the temple and the last one concluding the service done at the temple. Each individual was obligated to bring this sacrifice. So the first lesson from this sacrifice is that God is teaching us that in order for us to bring an offering and and a pleasant aroma to God, we do not have to go through the major expense of purchasing a lamb, adding oil, salt, and flour, but rather the participation involved was very little. By contributing a little sum of money once a year, and together with the entire Jewish people contributing a little bit each, they were able to buy sacrifices for the entire year. In other words, in order for us to bring a pleasant aroma before God every single day, more than once, we did not need to go through the major expense involved in bringing that sacrifice, but our participation was minimal and a very, very small one, yet it is considered and accounted as if we ourselves brought twice a day a sacrifice to God. In other words, serving God is not necessarily involve all our assets, all our talent, all our energy, rather it might be just giving our heart, our desire to serve God, that alone counted, it will be counting for God as if we dedicated our entire day. The second message for Korban Tamid is that it had to be the one to open up the day and conclude the day. In other words, it's not in order for us to serve God. We don't need to give all the day to God, but just a little bit at the start and a little bit at the end of the day. The way that we serve God at the beginning of the day, just dedicating a little bit of time, can be done through the recitation of Mode Ani. I thank you, God, for returning my life to me through the soul which is refreshed and renewed in the morning. The following prayer should be said every morning Mode Ani Lefanecha, Melech Chai Vekayam, Shechazat Abin Ishmati, Bechemla Rabba Emunatecha. I thank you, God, for returning my soul all renewed and invigorated and energized so that I can serve you throughout the day. In other words, we don't need to dedicate and serve God all day because we need to go about our life protecting ourselves and taking care of our family, our surrounding and the universe. However, if we start the day with a dedication to God by reciting that verse, 
it counted as if the entire day was for God's sake. And I think that this is a message from the Korban Tamid, from the sacrifice that was brought always at the temple, continuing doing the same always, every morning and every evening, concluding the evening with the Shema, starting the day with Modeani, it is considered as if the entire day is dedicated for God. Thank you very much for joining me with the study of Torah. Please continue the study of Torah, and I look forward to sharing with you another Torah message next week, God willing.